have enough courage to start and enough heart to finish. Listen, I don't know about you, but I have so many projects that I've started at my house, at the job, and it just seems like I'm really good at getting started, but I'm really not that good at finishing, and I don't know if you can relate. I bought this bookshelf one time from Walmart, right, and I thought to myself, you know what, this looks pretty easy to put together, I need it. I got the tool and I was all excited to start you know I spread all the parts out in my floor and I looked at everything and you know I'm the kind of person that need to be able to match the A part to the B part the B goes to the C you know what I'm saying like I need it to be that simple so I'm starting it and I'm imagining what it's gonna look like and I'm, I'm sitting there and then I got about one fourth through the process and then I lost heart because I was like this is harder than I thought it was and I left that shelf spread, all the parts sitting in the middle of my floor. Because it seems like a lot of parts of my life are like that. I start something, but then I don't finish. I'm excited to start. I have the courage to start, but I lose heart before I can finish. That if there's something that you've started, have the heart to pick it up again and keep working on it because you have to remember why you started in the first place. You have to remember why you picked up that project or why you decided to do what you're doing, whether it's working out, whether it's it's writing a book. Hello. Yeah, me. That's me. Yeah. Anyway, in the Bible, it says that God is able to complete the work that he started in you. Now, if God is, is, is really committed to completing the work that he started in us, then we should push and press through the hard times to complete the things that he's put on our hearts.